In this video, we're gonna go ahead and replace our downstream catalytic converter located right here. What we wanna do is go ahead and try and remove the nuts from the studs that are in the exhaust. There's three on each side. Now we have a problem here. Ours is rusted beyond identification. We can't even get a tool on here. We're gonna end up using torches. What we're gonna do is cut the side of the stud that is on the catalytic converter side. We wanna save the flange so we're gonna blow off the side, the head here, same thing over here, remove the cat, and then we'll just go ahead and hammer out the studs out of the flanges on the two pipes we need to save. Now we went ahead and blew the heads off with our torches here. Let's go ahead and try and separate the cat. You just want to watch your feet. If you're doing it this way here, the cat might just fall out. Once we have our cat off, we want to go ahead and punch out the rest of the remaining studs here. You can just hit the flange. And do that for the other pipe as well. In our case here, Ours already fell out with a cat, so we're good to go. Now on each side of our pipe here, there is an O-ring gasket. It's one of these guys right here. Now this is supposed to fit inside here. We have the old gasket still in here. So what we're gonna do is you can use a small screwdriver, you can use a pick, whatever you do, you just gotta go ahead and get this O-ring out. So let's go ahead and start working at that. Now on our front pipe right here, we have an O-ring gasket. It's this guy right here. Now we'll have to go ahead and pick out the old one in order to install that one there. So we went ahead and we sprayed some rust penetrant around here. We're gonna use a pick. You can use a small pocket screwdriver, whatever tool you have to go ahead and get this gasket out. It may come out in pieces or it might come out whole. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Use one of our air tools here just to clean off the surface here. We're gonna do the same for the other pipe. And we have our gasket up in place. Go ahead and line up our cap and push that up. Let's go ahead and start getting some nuts and bolts put in here. So we did, of course, have to source some nuts and bolts in order to put this together. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten those nuts and bolts by hand for now. Hold that gasket in place. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the back side here. I'm gonna slide our gasket up in. Go ahead, tighten down our hardware. I'm doing this in a pattern here so it's somewhat even. We want to go ahead and crush that o ring gasket in there to make a nice good seal. these are good and tight, we're gonna go ahead and move to the front bolts. At this point here, we have all six of our nuts and bolts installed with all of our gaskets. At this point here, you wanna go ahead and start up the vehicle, check for any leaks. If there's no leaks, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.